So in my last video, I gave you guys an entire minute of my life teaching you how to grind and learn a language. And all I asked was that you go out and actually practice your language. And what did you guys do? You went into the comment section and you asked for more. Are you intentionally procrastinating your language learning? Is that what the goal is here? You know what? Fine. It's your life. You're the one who's not learning your language. Let's see how Evil Deer learns his language and actually becomes a productive member of society. So first up, I have my cards. In an average, I have somewhere between 300, 350 cards. 300 of those cards will be old cards. About 50 of those cards will be new cards. Okay, that's pretty much it. Then what I do is on the front, I've got the Chinese text and the audio. I actually don't even look at the Chinese text, it's just kind of sitting there. So then I listen. So I repeat the sentence. If I instantly know what it means, in this case, that grave where my subscribers are going to be buried is very ancient, then I move on. I hit, oh, I did well with that one, and I click the good button. But if I sat there for a minute or so, scratching at my graying beard, wondering what I just heard, then clearly I did not understand that, and I click the kunan, which means difficult. See, you guys are learning in context. Comprehensible input, guys. So I hit the difficult button, and then I just do that 300, 350 times. Well, if I've got 50 new cards, that's actually like 400 times, because obviously you get double hit with the new ones. Those little buggers, they want so much from me. I do that, and it takes about an hour, hour and a half of my life. The entire point here is not to actually learn, it's to become instantly reactive to what I'm hearing. I don't want to be sitting there and going, hmm, what did that sentence mean? Let me think over it. Let me repeat it 10 times in my head. Aha, I know the meaning, I hit good. No, that's not the point. The point is, I hear it, I instantly understand it, good, I move on. I don't instantly understand it, I hit, that's a bad card, I gotta listen to it again for next time. It's almost like self-flatulation, you know, you gotta punish yourself. Is that even the correct word? I don't know, but that's the word that's staying. Then I move on to actually making new cards. So come join Evil Deer in his land of happiness and pleasure where he creates cards. So as you can see up on my screen, I have a bunch of different websites, each one serves a different purpose. YouTube, I'm gonna watch a video, find vocab that I don't don't know, create sentences around that. Google Translate, which just acts as a keyboard basically. Then I have a text-to-speech engine to turn those phrases I create into audio. Chat GPT up here for creating various sentences around a structure that I'm learning. Notepad for taking notes, obviously. Uh, Anki, because I'm going to need to load this into somewhere. And finally, Audacity, which is a free program to basically record the audio coming out of your computer. There is probably way more optimized ways of doing this, but I like this workflow. It works for me. It slows things down enough so that I can actually repeat the sentences as I'm learning them. Okay, so most of the video so far I actually understood quite well, but he says Xiao Yang. I'm guessing that's some kind of like gaming insult. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go type that one out now over here in YouTube. So Xiao Yang, mock up. That doesn't seem to make sense there. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT. So what does Xiao Yang mean in an FPS context? So it often is colloquial Chinese means something like you little punk. So that seems like something that I probably want to learn. So they even gave a sentence example here. Haha, Xiao Yang. So I'm not sure what that character right there is. I think it's like C. It could be. Let me just go type it out here. So, so you still want to sneak attack me. So here I've actually got two words that I now want to learn in context. So I want to learn this one. Xiao Yang, and I want to learn that. But I'm actually going to focus on this one primarily because this is a verb and it's better to learn verbs over any other word because verbs are like the things that actually structure a sentence. So I'm just going to go learn this bad boy right now. So here it gives me an ex uh, some examples and I'm just going to pick out the ones that I already know all the words in except for the word that I'm trying to learn. So now I've already learned that this means um, ambush and also sneak attack. Let's say I want to practice this structure now. What I'll do is I'll paste this in here and I'll say give me six more examples that follow this structure and I'm going to swap out the directions I can be ambushed and also by also what I'm going to ambush. And this requires you to actually understand the language a little bit but when you start at the really beginning then obviously you're going to start with the really beginning stuff. So here we've got one. I ambushed the enemy from the bushes. And now I'm just going to create a bunch of sentences using both this structure and also this verb. And then I'll do that again for a few more. Okay, so I've created a bunch of sentences as you can see right here on the screen. This is just a very small sample of what I normally do. Normally I'll do about 50 sentences. It'll take me about 15 minutes to put together. And then what I'll do is I'll start recording audio for them and I'll practice them while doing that at the same time. So I'm going to just create the audio for one just to give you guys an example. So we'll grab this first one. I'll chuck it up here. I just paste it straight into this text for speech engine. Hit record. Hit 
play. We have file, export, export selected. I'll just randomly dump it here at the end. Then in Anki, I open up my listen and repeat deck. And now all I do is I basically slap that audio right in there along with the Chinese. And then I put the English at the top. Uh, the formatting here of why I'm putting things at the top and bottom is just because I messed up like my templates and it just I just haven't bothered to change it. Anyway, that's basically the whole process. And I just do this until I've got all the 50 cards that I want to make. Well, how many words can you realistically learn like this? Well, I try to learn somewhere between three, maybe six verbs in a session. And then I don't really count the nouns and adjectives that I randomly chuck in there as long as I can add a bunch in there So roughly probably about 15 words in a session Which means about 15 words a day I'm learning now the important thing to take away from this video is not my method It's the fact that you need to grind every single day hundreds of sentences a day thousands of sentences a week Hundreds of thousands of sentences a year. That's what's important how you grind those sentences I honestly don't care as long as you're grinding them and that's it guys close those talkie potter hentai videos you're all watching and get back to grinding.